Those guards are too close to the tunnel. I will chase them off. We will die if we don't get into Odo's palace somehow! There is a tunnel around here. Keep... Down into the dark we go. That tunnel takes you into the palais. Thank you, Norman. And you? I will save what I can of my trade goods and leave through other tunnels. Godspeed, Evo. A safe journey to you two. A fine hall of Norse Walker and Frankish riches. Looks like no one smuggled for both sides. This area is off limits. On animal lusts today of all days. We may die today. Should I spend my last moment scrubbing floors or making love? May God have mercy on your soul, Amuda. Sneaking through the back door like that. Following that love struck maid should lead me into the palace. Whatever you are doing, stop! Moshear is coming, and... and he'll lock you up!
inside the palace. I need to find someone to point me toward Odo. Listen, I am the chief jailer. I should open something important. Dulce Jesus. Oh, my lady, why the Count will not attend to you, I will never know. The mother of his children, to think it's so stubborn at Odo, and that pathetic Walter Nuisance, too drunk to give last rites. A travesty, that one is. Pardon me, is that food for Count Odo? No, this is for Lady Theodrat, his wife. She lies at death's door. And who are you in such garb? A healer from Frisia. What happened to the lady? While helping wounded soldiers off the walls, she took an arrow in the belly. Persuade that worthless priest Walter to give her the last rites if you can. He's just upstairs. I will see what I can do. Thank you. Follow me, father. Where is Count Odo? Oh, Odo! His foolish pride will kill us all! Yes, but where is he? Who are you again? No, I can tell you nothing without more wine. Ah, my memory has gone all hazy. Here's your wine. Now do you remember where is Count Odo? Wine! Ah, sweet, precious wine! The water of lies, the blood of Christ, the fiery flame of the world. Red wine, nothing more. You may have it. Oh, heaven hears my... Uh, before you do. Although, I do not know. But his wife lies wounded on the second story along the main hall. Here, take it. Thanks. I should head to Odo's bedroom.
inside, as you might know where. Is that you, Odo, my love? No. You're too tall. Are you the priest? The light has grown dim. I see nothing but shapes. Father, will you hear my confession? Ah, oh, yes. I am the priest, your lady Ness. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. In my own pride, I went to battle without armor. Thinking God would be my shield, and now I'm dying, and I will never see my sweet children again. Where are they, Father? Are they safe? They uh, are safe with that good man, Walter de Saint. Do not fear. Thank you. But, Father, please, will you carry a message from a dying woman to her beloved husband? I will, my dear. What should I tell Count Odo? That he is a good man. That he must live for our children's sake. For Paris. For Francia. He must not die for a mad king. I promise I will do this, good lady. Where may I find your husband? <laughs> Odo remains locked in his sanctum. His sanctum? Up the landing and across the hall. My husband still hopes Charles will ride forth and save the city. Locked in, you said. There is a key in the bureau. Take it. Help my husband a any way you can. Creeps upon me now, but slow and quiet, like a shadow at day's end. Eyelids so heavy. Mother, where are you? Farewell, good lady. This area. My lord Bolden, the day is lost. Give the order to strike the banners and lay down our arms, please. What good are our deaths, my lord? Your lady wife lies dying. Go to her. Your duty as a husband. My duty is here. When Charles and his army arrive, we will join the attack. We will crush the heathens between the hammer of Charles and the anvil of Paris. Leave, Walter. Go comfort my wife as best you can. God, it seems, has chosen a different fate for me. The priest is right. Lay down your arms. Save your city. Among the Northmen, is not death in battle the best way to die? Come, share a glass of wine with a doomed man. I have heard many a warrior cry out for their mothers as their life's blood feeds the ground. I no longer can say if this is the best way to die. Your wife's wound is severe, an arrow to the gut. I saw her. I fear she won't last the night. And I won't last the next quarter of an hour. She's said to be strong for your children. 
Do not throw away your life for a mad king. Look at these works of stained glass. Delicate, priceless. Evro's artisans spend years crafting each piece. Wondrous works, I grant you that. You brought them here for safekeeping. In the hopes that your invading horde won't smash them to pieces. You tell me to surrender my city? Abandon my honor? You tell me to live out my days as Siegfried's prisoner? What would you do? I would fight. And someday, I will die with steel in my hand. As I know, it is my doom. But today is not that day. And if I put you on your back, bleeding out and crying for your mother? My mother is already dead. Come, Norman! <laughs> Make me slay you. Honor the man. One of us die. God, lend me a fine blade for a fine warrior. You fought well, Count Odo, but not well enough. Give me a quick death. Do not make a spectacle of my defeat. Those are not Siegfried's horns. Shah and his army! He arrives in time to save the city. They do not fight. I see a flag of truce. Siegfried and Charles would hold Polly. I must be there. My voice must be heard. As should I. But I am your prisoner. Then I release you on your honor. And trust you to keep our truce. Thank you, Eivor. I shall. Lord Siegfried, I offer a gift of silver as a token of the love and friendship between us. Let us have peace. Silver for a truce. Not a truce, but a lasting bond. I name you my Lord of Rouen, and you bend the knee to your king. I do not kneel to wooden gods, let alone living men. But no matter, let me take counsel. Eivor! Thank the gods you live! As do you. Good. I made it inside the palace. 
Odo would have surrendered the city, but... But Charles showed up with his mighty flag of truce. I... and you? After we split up, I took my thanes and secured the bastard prince. He's nearby, safe. Eivor! <laughs> the gods do favor the brave. The lucky and the brave. So it is said. And Charles, he offers us a hoard of silver. Ah, indeed. And all we have to do is sail away. He brings enough treasure to make every Warthane here wealthy beyond dreams. For those who lived. Gambling our lives for silver, that is our way. Now, do we take his offer? By luck, he's bloody balls, yes. And call him king if it makes the old troll happy. I've dealt with Charles more than you. He may stab us in the back. He can try. And if he tries, I will take his silver and his throne. Uncle, we came for wealth and peace for our clan. We can't take all of Francia. We're too few. Charles, we take your gift. And in return, we give you peace. Siegfried. This man, Siegfried, swears to be my loyal friend and protect our lands in Amiens and Rouen. Gosler, Abel, and my wife died defending Paris from these river pirates. And now, you offer them the very silver we paid you to defend us. Are you mad? Wait. We know you are. Let me ask instead. Are you a coward or a fool? Siegfried swears to protect our lands in the north. If you surrender my birthright, you are no king of mine. Count Odo, I bested you in battle and spared your life. Honor the terms of our truce. This heathen knows more about honor than my king. Today has been a good day, but I tire of long speeches. We will take our silver and go. You Franks may stay and pursue your own quarrels. Wait. A final matter. Eivor of England, bring forth my son, Prince Bernard. I cannot hand over the boy to one such as you. He is free to go where he wills. You dare defy me? Do you want battle, King? I will take your silver and your balls. Do not wreck our truce over one small boy. Bernard is not any boy. He is my only son and heir. What? Have you forgotten how to make another? This is not over. Eivor of England. Ah, we have won a great victory and a great treasure. Come, we feast. Tomorrow, the Franks will bury their dead, thanking their god that they yet live. And they should, for Paris was merely kissed this time. Should we breach those walls again, we will bare our teeth and bite. And should Charles judge it wise to draw swords against us again, let him remember the glint of our axe blades. Let him remember the red mist on the air, the taste of iron. Enjoy the
the feast all. A purse full of silver to any who can drink more ale than I. Skull! Have you ever seen something like this? 